Find out at a little. Wait, hey, Phil. Sorry. Look, all we can do is give Haley the time to find out who she is. Or we could save that time and I could tell her who she is. Let me know how that works out. Excuse me? Oh, sorry, but my TV doesn't work and you're all I've got. <laughs> I'm Norman. Good to meet you, Norman. What are you in for? Triple bypass. Awesome. <laughs> and it sounded like you were agreeing with my parenting style, so please, continue. Well, I've raised three kids, and the main thing I learned is you have to let them be who they are. Thank you, Norman. Just because he's behind a curtain doesn't make him a wizard. Dad, I made you this necklace. It's good for healing. There's no scientific evidence to back that up, Dad. I married a doctor. I have three degrees. Hey, girls, where's your little brother? He didn't get his arm stuck in a vending machine again, did he? <laughs> <laughs> Are you getting this? Yes, they sound just like our kids, and they all got together to visit their dad, mm -hmm. who apparently did a pretty good job raising them. Please, he sounds like an old hippie. A wise, insightful old hippie. Mm. A Jeff Bridges hippie. Hey, Dad. There he is. Look at that sharp suit. Oh my God, Luke gets huge. You've seen this at War to Angela's wedding. Oh yeah, it's just like the one I had made for my little Jonathan. Okay, Mrs. Dumpy, time for your prep, okay. See what happens when parents get out of the way? Weddings, babies, sharp suits. Might wanna wheel her by the burn unit. She just got scorched. Wait, you made a suit for Jonathan? He's a cat. He's a hairless stray. He needs the suit for warmth. You know that thing, all of your husbands eventually stop feeling for you? I did not come here to be insulted. I came here for dad. Dad, I need $500. How can you need money? You have four divorce settlements. Yeah, sorry I'm not some sad, lonely exorcist. Archivist. I'm an archivist. Ugh, this arguing. I might as well just stay in court. Please be a lawyer. Please be a lawyer. How'd it go? I got probation plus time served. Suck it. Well, maybe now you'll stop siphoning electricity off the grid with a meat hook. Hey, look at me for a second. When you die alone in your bed, Jonathan's going to eat you. When Thank you. You're hey, we should go. Mom's gonna be here soon. But why don't you stay and say hello? She'd love to see you. Why, so she can tell me how to live my life? Yeah, I've got my probation officer for that. We'll see her on her birthday. When's the next important one? Um... I know it's none of my business, but is it possible that your mom doesn't want you to make certain mistakes because she cares? Oh my God, you sound just like her. Let's roll. Haley, you are not quitting your job. Where is this coming from? It's coming from the future, your future, and it ain't pretty. I don't understand. In the future, I'm not pretty? No, you hold up, okay? But this path you're on, flitting from one thing to the next, and ends in a pile of ex-husbands and nicotine fingers. Can I talk now, Dad? No! Hello? Alex, you don't have to go on that trip in the coal. You can study as much as you want. Just know that I love you. Okay. Listen to me, Haley. You are dangerously close to getting on a path you can't get off of. Dad, stop yelling. Mom, stop crying. I know I'm not a big nerd. Here, Mom wants to talk to you. Dad wants to talk to you. Hello? Hello? Alex, book down, run a brush through your hair. You're going on that trip with your friend. What? Haley, I love you. If you don't want to work in that store, I'll help you find something you like better. Is this reverse psychiatry? No, honey. Actually, nothing is. I just want you to be happy. Mom, you're freaking me out! Why is everyone screaming? Here! Here. This is Luke. Why are Mom and Dad acting so crazy? I don't know, but it's creepy. Something's going on. Do you think it has to do with Mom's heart thing? Like it's more serious than they're saying? We have to go to the hospital. Oh my god, oh my god! Okay, everybody, calm down. Here's what we know. Mom had to go to the hospital for a simple procedure. Then, Mom and Dad start calling us acting weird. Open your eyes, people. They've been kidnapped. God, do you soak your hair in cigarettes? Do you wash your clothes in tears? I have to get home. My roommate needs these shoes. Weirdos. Luke, don't be so mean. I can't take it today. I may be your sort of mom now, and I'm practically a child myself. OK, let's calm down. Mom could be fine. Oh, come on, they wouldn't be freaking out if they were fine. Right, because Mom and Dad never freak out over nothing. They don't. They're perfect. Remember the time when Dad was switching jobs and Mom threw away all of our junk food? That was completely different. No, no, actually it's not. They don't know how to deal with their stuff, so they obsess over us. Maybe that's all this is, right? I can't believe how relieved I am. 